pay his poll tax. Cyril Munden was arrested on his way home from hospital, taken to court and given 14 days to pay the full amount or spend two weeks in jail. Today, campaigners who marched from Northampton to London in support of Mr Munden arrived at Westminster to lobby MPs. 74-year-old Cyril Munden has become a test case for the region. Last Thursday, he was arrested, taken to court and given 14 days to pay his poll tax or spend a fortnight in jail. Now the Anti-Poll Tax Federation has highlighted his case in their People's March Against the Poll Tax, which finishes in London this week. The Federation's General Secretary says he'll have hundreds of protesters outside Northampton Courthouse next Friday, when Cyril comes back to court. I think I'm speaking for all those people who support us and probably millions who don't support us. It's a barbaric and medieval act, firstly to send in the bailiffs, but then to threaten imprisonment on the head of, of a 74-year-old pensioner who cannot afford to pay Mrs Thatcher's poll tax. Mr Nally says as far as he's concerned, Cyril Munden won't be going to prison for his stand. And he's warning local councillors that if they start jailing pensioners, the publicity may mean they'll start losing votes. Already, 10 MPs have published a motion in the Commons, criticising Northampton's actions as heartless. But the MP for Northampton South, Michael Morris, says that's an irresponsible approach. You know, there are a great many people, elderly people, in Northampton Borough who also have to pay the community charge, some of whom I have to say are less well off than he is. Uh, they make the effort, they pay on time and buy instalments, uh, and they obey the law of the land. And I'm afraid, Mr Mundin, if he chooses not to obey the law, and he is, as I re-emphasise, his community charges less than the amount he paid in rates, uh, then I'm afraid that is his choice. Mr Munden says he's fully prepared to go to prison a week on Thursday, but will be fighting hard to avoid it. And he's expected to join thousands of his fellow protesters in a march and rally in central London this weekend against the community charge.